Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on the Garmin Nuvi 260 GPS unit, the perfect travel companion. Let's begin! From the main menu of the GPS unit, select Where To. From here, select Address. Now you can either spell the state or province that you're traveling to, or in this case we'll just select Ontario. It'll next ask you to either spell the city or enter postal code. In this case, we're going to go to Toronto. It'll automatically complete it for you. All you have to do is confirm it by touching Toronto, Ontario. Next, it'll ask you for the address number. And then it'll ask you for the street name. In this case, we're going to go to Dundas Street West. It automatically narrows down your information to Dundalk Drive or Dundas Street. We want Dundas Street. From here, it narrows down your information even further. Select Dundas Street West. Now all your information you have entered is displayed on the page. If this is correct, touch Go and your route will be set. The GPS unit takes a moment to calculate all the information. Now your route is set and you'll be able to go on your way. This is your main navigation page in 3D mode. If you'd like to zoom out, Simply touch the left hand corner button. If you'd like to zoom in, touch the button on the top right hand corner. Touch anywhere on the screen to go to a bird's eye view of the map. If you'd like to browse the map, simply place your finger on the screen and drag. We've already set our original destination, but we need to pick up a friend on the way at Bathurst and Bloor. Simply touch the intersection and then press go. We can either set it as a new final destination or a via point. Since we still want to go to Dundas Street West, we'll add it as a via point. The GPS unit takes a moment to recalculate the route. If we go back to the bird's eye view and zoom out a little bit, we will see that our readjusted route now has a red flag representing our friend at Bathurst and Bloor and a checkered flag at our final destination which is 20 Dundas Street West. One interesting feature is that you can search for an array of businesses around you. Touch menu, where to, points of interest. A list of options are displayed. We can search for transit, lodging, shopping. In this case we'll search for food. We feel like Asian food. Press Asian. Next a list of nearby Asian restaurants are displayed. From closest to furthest. Let's go to Rikishi Japanese Restaurant. Press Go. We can either set this as our new final destination or add it as a via point. To set your current position as a favorite, select the icon. A message will appear and ask you if you want to save it as a favorite. Select Yes. Next, select a name for the new current position. We'll call this one Home. When heading home, select Menu, Where To, Favorites, a list of favorites will appear. Select Home, Go, Set as New Destination, and in no time you'll be on your way home. Your Garmin Nuvi 260 can also view pictures. Simply insert an SD card into the side of the unit. Select the Tool option. Next, a variety of options will appear. You have Settings, Calculator, if you go down further, there's World Clock, Currency Converter, and Unit Converter. However, we're going to look at some pictures. So go to Picture Viewer. To enlarge an image, simply touch it. To view it on the full screen, select Full Screen. To go back to your main library of photos, Touch the image, and then select Back. You can also change the language. Go to Toolbar, Settings, Down, Language, and here you can change the voice, text, and keyboard language. Let's change the voice. A variety of accents and languages will appear. 
such as American English, British English, Dutch, and Spanish. Let's pick Spanish. Press OK. From now on, all the voice commands will be in Spanish. Thank you for viewing the online tutorial of the Garmin Nuvi 260. If you have any further questions, feel free to drop by your local blacks, or a sales associate will be happy to answer all your questions.